Hello everyone, this is example 1 on pressure at a point and I arranged the problems in such a way that they are arranged according to degree of difficulty from easy, then moderate ones, then challenging ones. And it's up to you, the viewers to follow the examples if you find it uh, helpful in your studies, then the better. But I want you to evaluate yourselves where in the problems where you can still follow the solutions and the explanations because it will help evaluate yourselves, your level of understanding and your future in your studies also in civil engineering. So here we go. Determine the pressure at point 3 meters below sea water surface in kilopascals, PSI and bars. So let's concentrate on the first problem first. So pressure is specific weight of liquid times depth. Then I want you also to view first the lecture video on pressure at a point, variation of pressure with depth and so on and so forth, which I also have in YouTube before proceeding to these examples. So the specific weight of seawater is 1.03. It ranges from 1.025 to 1.03. But I told you to use the maximum specific gravity, which is 1.03, if not specified in the problem. So therefore, the specific weight of seawater is 1.03 times specific weight of, what, of water which is 9.81 kN per cubic meter. Specific gravity of seawater times specific weight of seawater. Specific weight of water, which is 9.81 kN per cubic meter, tends, then the height or depth, which is 3 meters. So 1.03 times 9.81 kN per cubic meter times 3. So the pressure in kilopascals is 30.31 kilopascals. Having found the pressure in kilopascals, then let's just convert these kilopascals to PSI by the conversion factor that 14.7 PSI is equivalent to 101.3 kilopascals. So 30.31 kilopascals, we multiply 14.7 PSI, which is equivalent to 101.3 kilopascals. This is 101.325 but we can use 101.3. We just ignore the 0 0.025. So therefore in P PSI it is 4.398 PSI. Then in bars, one bar is 100 kilopascals so we multiply this by quantity one bar over 100 kilopascals. So it is 0 0.3031 bar. Second problem, if the specific weight of a sludge can be expressed as 10,200 plus 105H, determine the pressure in pascals at the depth of 2.4 meters. So this specific weight of the sludge is in newtons per cubic meter. It is impossible that it is in kilonewtons per cubic meter because the constant part is 10,200 already. So that's greater than 9,810 newtons per cubic meter of water. So we have to think also by common sense. We have to use our common sense, by the way. So since the specific weight varies from pressure equals gamma H, so if we use the differential form, differential P is gamma times differential H. So integrating, substituting gamma, which is 10,200 plus 105H, then DH, integrating, of course, from the surface to depth below. So the pressure at the surface is zero. The pressure at a certain depth is known, 
is to be computed. So the limits where P is 0 to P, where 0 is the pressure at the surface, then P is the pressure at a depth of 2.4 meters. So that's why the, the limits for the right side is from 0 at the surface to 2.4 meters below. So since SciTech calculator is no longer allowed, so this is P minus 0 or simply P, then 10,200 plus 105 over 2 h square or 52.5 h square from 0 to 2.4. Substituting 10,200 times 2.4 plus 52.5, 2.4 square minus lower limits, everything has H so 0, 0, so minus 0. So using your calculator, P is 24,782 pascals. Then number 1.3, convert 1.2 meters of oil with specific gravity 0.86 to millimeters of mercury column and in meters of molasses with specific gravity 1.5. So the idea here is we convert one liquid to another in such a way that the pressure at the bottom of these columns of different liquids will have the same pressure. So that's the idea. So if this is the first liquid and we go, we're going to convert this into another liquid, of, this would be the equivalent depth shorter if the specific gravity of, of the liquid where the first liquid is to be converted to is greater than the specific gravity of the first liquid. But what is important is we have different columns of liquids. The pressure at the bottom would be the same. That is P1 equals P2. And since P1 is specific weight of liquid 1 times H1, then P2 is specific weight of liquid 2 times H2. Specific weight is specific gravity of liquid times gamma, specific weight of water. So S1 gamma of water times H1 is equal to quantity S2 gamma of water times H2. So cancel out gamma of water. So S1 H1 equals S2 H2. So if H2 is the equivalent height of liquid where the first liquid is to be converted to, then the formula would be Specific gravity of liquid 1, height of liquid 1, divided by specific gravity of liquid 2. So therefore, for mercury column, it is equal to 0 0.86 times 1,200 mm. 1.2 is 1,200 mm divided by specific gravity of mercury, which is 13.6. So therefore, the equivalent height of mercury in mm is 75.88 mm. Secondly, for molasses, H of equivalent of molasses is 0.86 times 1.2 meters divided by specific gravity of molasses also. So I hope you can easily set up equivalent height of liquid equivalent to the first in this manner. So it is just specific gravity of liquid one times height of liquid 1 divided by specific gravity of the liquid where the first liquid is to be converted to. So in meters of molasses, it is 0.688 meters. That's it.